Hey folks, welcome to Memphis. Come to you from my kitchen today because the lighting in here is just perfect. And also, um, I'm working on uh, keeping my answers more short and sweet, okay? I'm a detail-oriented guy, uh, but a lot of times folks don't need details. They need answers. They need results. Um, uh, sometimes people don't need to know how the watch is made. They just need to know what time it is. So today's question is, how do I find a good instructor? Well, um, just speaking from my own singular experience, I go to people that can help me meet my goals. And um, that's why I train with the people that I train because they can help me reach my goals. And that's why people train with me because I can help them reach their goals. One of my favorite instructors, okay? And also uh, I consider him a friend. He, uh, his name is Gabe White. And he told me one time that if you know where you are and you know where you wanna go, you can get there pretty quickly. One of the reasons I went to him is because if I had someone that's already been down that road, I can get there even quicker. We can avoid all the stuff where it wastes your time and your money and you can just do the stuff that we all know works. There's a lot of different real world reasons why people can't make it out to these classes. They cost too much, there's too much travel. How am I gonna make up those hours at work? Who's gonna watch the kids? Stuff like that, right? So if you can't make it out to one of the latest and greatest instructors or one of these guys that are basically experts in the industry, another thing you can do is you can buy books. No one would actually sit in the class uh, just for the fact of sitting in the class. You know, I didn't go to see Gabe because I, uh, I wanted a turbo pen or I wanted a light pen or anything like that, or I wanted his certificate hanging on my wall. I went to Gabe's class so I could learn from Gabe. And so it's the same reason why we buy books, okay? We never buy books so that they can sit on the bookshelf. We buy books so that we can learn. And so um, when it comes down to buying books or going to classes, specifically when it comes to handguns, uh, the main three goals that I see is that people want to use a handgun for defensive purposes, to defend themselves and their families, or people want to use a handgun for competitive shooting. They want to win matches and get a higher class, or they want to become instructors. So the main three recommendations for books would be, and the reason why I'm using books, I'll tell you in just a second, but the three recommendations for books would be a uh, concealed carry class by Tom Gibbons. This book right here is for the type of person that uh, I want to be able to carry a gun in public. I want to be able to do it comfortably. I want to avoid all the stuff where I waste my time and my money on junk guns, what to look for in guns, what to look for in ammo and holsters, and what skills I need in order to actually use this thing successfully. Um, the book I would recommend for competitive shooting would be this one right here, Practical Shooting Training. It's set up in four different levels inside the book, okay? Ranging from level one, where I've never shot a match before, all the way up to level four, where I'm going for my fourth national title. So, you know, this right here is gonna be the jam for that, for competitive shooting. And if I want to be a better instructor, then Mike Seeklander's book on the art of instruction is going to be the best way to go. Not just because he doesn't just talk about pulling triggers. What he talks about is adult learning and he has a strong emphasis on safety. So there's a lot about how to properly convey those points in a way that people will listen and people will learn and then checking for application. Like if you're serious about being an instructor, this needs to be on your bookshelf. So. The, the reason why I bring in books is because, number one, if you can't actually get out to a Mike Seeklander class, there's still a lot of value to be had inside these pages. And number two, if you're looking at that instructor and you want to see if that person has the skills to help you meet your goals, it's the same way. You could do it the same way you look at the back of the book. And if what the credentials for the instructor has in the back of the book, if those credentials line up with your goals, then that's probably going to be a good book for you to read. Okay. You can do the same thing with classes from the instructor's website or the school's website. So I'll give you an example, right? So Tom Givens, one of the reasons why I sought out Tom Givens and I trained with him several times is because when it comes down to teaching people how to win gunfights, how to defend yourself with a, with a firearm, he's one of the best in the business. He's had, the current count right now is 69 students that have had to use a handgun for self-defense. Not a single time given student has ever lost a gunfight. So if they had a gun and they had trained with Tom, they win. 
So you can look at those credentials and see if it lines up with your goals. Um, if you, if you can't make it out to some of these guys, to some of their, some of their classes, another way that you can, uh, get some very relevant training is just to look at the, the local range that's near you and you can call them up and you can ask about some of the classes that they offer. You can ask about some of the instructors that are teaching those classes and you can see if their credentials and their experience and their skills line up with where you want to be. Okay. So, um, let me know if this right here, if this content is something that you enjoy, give me some feedback down below. Let me know if I can improve. Um, huge shout out to Mid South Laser Engraving uh, for all the work that they've been doing. They've been really just knocking it out of the park lately. Uh, thanks again for spending your time with me. Uh, you could have been spending your time doing anything else, and you know, I just, I just thank you for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Give me a subscribe. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, and thanks again for watching. Welcome to Memphis. Thank you.